Hey math lovers I am Jessy If you have an interest in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry and the properties of similar triangles then here I am ready with an interesting problem We have a triangle with a side length 6 8 and 10 units Inside this triangle I am drawing a square in such a way that one side of the square lies on the 10 unit side and the remaining two vertices of the square are touching the triangle now my problem is what is the area of the square if you want to attempt the problem pause the video and just give a try and the solution is right here first we have to analyze the problem it is given that the sides of the triangle are 6 8 and 10 units and then one side and the other two corners are lying on the triangle now what exactly is our aim of this problem it is nothing but to find the area of the square this is the structure of our problem so always keep in mind for better understanding let's denote the triangle by abc now i have a question Can you find anything special about this triangle? We know that 6 square plus 8 square equal to 100, which is equal to 10 square. What does it mean? The sides of the triangle obey Pythagoras theorem, which means the triangle ABC is a right triangle. Note that we have three more right triangles in the actual figure. Now let's take angle A equal to x degree. Therefore, angle C will be 90 minus x degree. Also we know that the angles inside the square are 90 degree each. Using this calculate the remaining angles also. Then we get like this. Now compare all the right triangles we have. As you can see all of them have equal set of angles. x degree, 90 degree and 90 minus x degree. What does it mean? If two triangles have equal set of angles then they are similar triangles. That is Here all these four triangles are similar triangles and therefore by the property of similar triangles the ratio of similar sides are equal Before proceeding remember the important properties of similar triangles If we have two triangles which are similar to each other then the first property is that both the triangles have the same set of angles and the second property is that the ratios of similar sides will be equal that is the ratios a1 by a2 B1 by B2 and C1 by C2 are equal. Geometrically, we can place these triangles as the sides become pairwise parallel to each other. Now come back to the original problem. Let's denote the square as PQRS and take the side length of the square as A units. Now consider the similar triangles, triangle ABC and triangle AQR. Taking the ratios of similar sides, we get QR by QA equal to BC by BA. Substitute the values from the figure. That gives A by QA equal to 6 by 8, which implies QA equal to 4A by 3. Now consider the similar triangles, triangle ABC and triangle SPC. Taking the ratios of similar sides, we get PS by PC equal to BA by BC. Substitute the values from the figure. That gives A by PC equal to 8 by 6 which implies PC equal to 3A by 4 From the actual problem we already have PQ equal to A therefore from the figure we will get the side AC equal to 3A by 4 plus A plus 4A by 3 that is equal to 37A by 12 but in the problem it is given that AC equal to 10 units therefore 37A by 12 equal to 10 That gives a equal to 120 by 37, approximately equal to 3.243 units. Now we are done. Our problem was to find the area of the square, and we got the side length approximately equal to 3.243 units. Hence, the area of the square will be 3.243 whole square, which is approximately equal to 10.519 square units, and that is the solution we are looking for. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another problem.